My names are Chief Saint Emma P. I am the Secretary for the Council of Chiefs and Elders in Ogoniran River State of Nigeria. Every man, every woman is a fisherman. The men who use net go to the creek to cast their net and cast tally and bring fishes home. Because it was a growing economy. We, we were self-sustained. Uh, we can contain ourselves. But from this period, our means of life was destroyed totally. Shell has an operations within my community in Bodo City, and there was two major oil spills between 2008 and 2009 that completely destroyed the environmental system of my community, both the ecosystem and the farming system. There is nothing like life in the water. There is no farmland. We are like refugees in our communities now. The whole system, you can see this, this in the oil, these are crude oil that have impacted into the soil, the mud, the river. No fish, no prewinkle, no mosquito, no life can stay inside this thing. There were monkeys, there were tortoises, there were crocodiles, there were gamma lizards, all type of red types, environmental red types we are living here. But today, the whole thing is destroyed. We don't have a future for our children. You can, you can see a child born from 2008 and 2009. We don't know what the tortoise look like because it's no more there. Oil have destroyed everything. All these are oil impacted mud. It's about 10 feet into the ground here, to the mud here. So it is very, very unfortunate conditions for our community because from UNEL report, still for the past 30 years, this impact cannot be cleaned. Even though if you wash it, the oil is not going. Everywhere, bubble of oils in my hand. That's how it remains with us. And that's how it destroyed our life. The oil is always in our hand, every part of our body. I want you to take this message home to your people, to share SPDC, whether it's in Nigeria, whether it's in uh, Holland, anywhere they are, that uh, we are all human beings. And we pray that they should have human face. Uh, we should be able to protect one another. And by the time all of us here die from their pollution, I think the world, nature, we ask them why they refuse to protect poor people who are in need to survive. That is what I'm going to tell them.